hi this is angie also known as the light welcome to my channel like subscribe share this video if you like to if you'd like to make a donation to me um my paypal information and my cash app information will be in my description bar in the comment section thank you to those who have already donated to me um already um basically when you donate to me i will email you or if you can find my email <laughs> some of you have been really smart being able to find me um i will email you and because you donated to me i will ask you do you have a topic or a question um that you want me to answer and i will do so in a video response um pretty much so today's video is going to be ugh, lipstick today's video is going to be about how do you regain your confidence after narcissistic abuse which is a great question this question um is coming from someone who sent me a donation and this was their question so hopefully i'll be able to answer it and what i did and how i regained my confidence um back well my confidence is still growing after the narcissist you got to understand that um they they rearranged your whole thinking process your whole brain pattern um and now you have to retrain yourself so if you're not willing to do the work you're not willing to do the healing work to um gain your confidence and um become renew yourself basically go back to your old self or a better version of yourself then you're just going to remain in that same mindset that same cycle i had to literally throw out everything um that was said to me you know i grew up with a narcissistic stepfather and he would say things to me like oh you're gonna be like your mom do you want to be like your mother you know you could just be a housewife you know he they never he never asked me like my goals my dreams my aspirations so that alone from a child broke me down i had all these I have all these great talents i can draw i can design you know i'm not bigging myself up i'm just saying i have all these artistic um talents but was never putting any of them to use and this is what happens you know when you're dealing with the narcissist it's almost as if they kind of have you become deleted and erased because they themselves cannot tune in they can't tap in to their own talents um if they even have any they don't know how to go about and be an adult and some of them don't know how to go after their aspirations they can continuously where they're putting out a facade and you here you are talented brilliant bright you have this great light and they envy that light and that's their duty like i call them satan's little helpers they're there to shatter your dreams and shatter your world so from childhood i had this narcissistic stepfather who basically killed my confidence in myself when it came to my dreams and aspirations all my friends would say well you're just so talented you're too broke to be talented and you're too wonderful you know to i mean you're too wonderful and too talented to be broke and it was true but when someone breaks down your confidence like the narcissist does you really don't have it in you to pursue many of your dreams and aspirations or even believe in yourself and it's so crazy how they kill your they kill your confidence they kill your spirit with that so you literally have to believe that everything that was told to you isn't real it's not real it's how the narcissist felt about themselves and they saw something great in you and that's why they tried to rearrange you sorry for the noise i'm outside of my my new job basically i'm in public um waiting for my ride okay but anyway so i had to rearrange my mindset and i had to literally keep telling myself daily angie everything that you were taught when you were raised was false you are brilliant you are talented you are wonderful 
you can do this, you can do that. And I, even now at 34, I'm still struggling with it because I am scared as shit sometimes to pursue some of my dreams and, you know, my aspirations. I also listen to um, um, affirmations. I find affirmations on YouTube. Um, and affirmations basically is chants and wording that you listen to. And sometimes it's with music, sometimes it's just somebody's voice. You can actually record your own affirmations. And basically your affirmation will just be like, I am beautiful. I am wonderful. I am talented. I will be successful. I'm already successful. I will be a millionaire. And it's just a chanting and um, a voice over music or just a plain voice recording. You can even record your own voice of you saying that. Some people even um, go to sleep to it. You know, you gotta be careful with that, with you know who you're listening to. Um, on YouTube or any other website that you get you get your affirmations from but this helped me and it trained me I also made um I made a what is it called a vision board so a vision board I just got like a big construction paper a big poster board and I cut out these images on from a mag from magazines of different things that I want to do and I want to you know things I want to see for my future and I pasted them on the board and so I have it in my room and basically when I wake up every morning it's the first thing I see and what this does is this actually when you start to see things that you really want when you start to speak the things that you really want into existence just like they like I said God said let there be light and there was light when you start to speak positively to yourself, that is when things in your life are changing. If you kept saying, you know, basically what happened was a narc kept telling you that you were dumb or you were ugly and you actually believed it. And that is just how the brain works. I believe if you're told something three to six times, you actually start to um, believe it. So this is why you have to keep doing it repetitively. You cannot stop. You need to be doing your affirmations. You need to be putting little post-its around your house of how awesome you are and how great you are because you're literally retraining your thinking process. You're, you're, you're rewiring your brain pattern. This is a psychological abuse, basically. This is psychological abuse, not only you know is a narcissist you know um an abused victim you are an abused victim as well this isn't just you know bad behavior this is literally spiritual stains on your spirit on your mind that you that it is it has impacted into your spirit it has left this negative residue on you and you actually believe the lies that the narcissist has told you so I had to do these things. Now, another thing, um, my narcissistic grandmother, she hated my originality. As you can see, I'm always switching up my hair and I always have a different style to me. And that's just something that, ooh, that's something, sorry, I thought I was gonna see a car accident. That is just something that she hated about me and she basically tried to attack it every chance that she got. So the first thing I did when she passed away because that was the only way I can kind of do what I wanted to do because she always crucified me for being who I was and being original and being fly and being stylish um if she was alive I probably would have never did my hair like this you know this is um faux dreadlocks basically she would have said oh that's ugly she'll say oh nappy hair is ugly and dreadlocks are ugly that's something that she would have said if she was alive, she would have said, oh, your lipstick is ugly, it's too dark. Or your glasses uh, don't look right on you. And, you know, through time, I actually believed these things. And the first thing I did when she died, I got away from that narc, literally, physically, and spiritually. I started being me. Like, I went out and bought a purple wig. And I, I did whatever the hell I wanted to do 
with my hair and with myself basically I didn't allow anyone to stop my originality I started being me and that's what you have to do start being you you do not need um, to st keep living your life or living your style the way that you were when you were with the narcissist I'm going to have to cut this video short. I'm going to do a part two, a continuation, because my ride is here. So this is about regaining your confidence with the narcissist. Um, peace and blessings. Wait for part two.